The consequences of climate change are being witnessed around the world from floods to droughts to heat waves. And to combat the consequences of climate crisis, our next report looks at a $1.3 million oyster reef project where a group of scientists hope to save the coastlines of California's San Diego Bay. Have a look. In California's San Diego Bay, there are no pearls growing on the oyster reefs. But scientists hope that they will yield an even more valuable treasure, protection against coastal erosion wrought by rising sea levels. Thousands of tiny mollusks have begun growing on the artificial reefs dropped in the bay as part of a plan to mitigate damage in California's far south. The port implanted 360 structures last December, along a peninsula wedged between the salt marshes of Southern California and the Coronado Peninsula. These hemispheres weigh 135 kilograms and look like huge thimbles. They're made from a mixture of cement, sand and crushed oyster shells, a crucial ingredient that attracts living oysters to make their home here. And after 10 months in the water, the reefs are covered with a greenish silt, which hides thousands of still microscopic oysters. Traditionally, eroding shorelines, you place hard structures on them, rock, uh, riprap, solid structures. And so we've been trying to uh, come up with what we refer to as nature-based solutions to help uh, not have to put hard structures in and to provide habitat value. The reefs are much more than just a natural bulwark against tidal erosion. Their bivalve occupants are all miniature filtration plants that are essential to the marine ecosystem. Oysters also filter about 50 gallons a day of water so they help remove the turbidity out of the water and help clean the water, uh, which will provide additional um, benefits to eelgrass, which is this submerged aquatic vegetation. Unlike the oysters, these long filament seagrass beds will also provide a crucial food source for the 80 species of fish and 300 varieties of birds that make their home in the area. Moreover, according to a study released this year by National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, by 2050, sea levels around California are expected to have risen by 20 centimeters, which would drastically increase the frequency of flooding on the West Coast. The flooding will also happen more frequently due to storms and heavy rainfall events exacerbated by human-caused climate change. And rising seas will worsen the erosion that threatens California's coastline. So with the implementation of this pilot project, scientists hope to see formation of real oyster reefs, which they believe will have a genuine impact on their local environment and help save California's coastline. Bureau Report, we on, World is One. We on, now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.